Hello, my name is Lamorna Ash and I am an assistant editor at Weatherglass Books and today I'm going to be introducing you to our first novel of the year which is Amma by Saray De Silva. I was partly brought on to the Weatherglass team to help look for some fiction by younger writers and for that role I would go off and I would meet agents in London and tell them about the kind of beautiful literary fiction that we publish and ask them if they had any manuscripts. Amma was actually one of the first manuscripts that I received whilst at Weatherglass Books and I was completely delighted and immersed as soon as I started reading it because here was a book who, which was so character driven which was about women, women's lives over multiple generations, the way that women's love for one another and the difficulty in mother-daughter relationships extends across time and reproduces itself and hopefully changes too as we move up to the present generation. Um, the book was about so many other things that I loved. It was about food, it was about queerness, it looked at intergenerational violence, um, it looked at trauma, it was kind of astonishing in all these different ways. Um, so let me tell you about it. So Amma is a three-strand intergenerational novel. It follows the lives of a grandmother, her daughter, and her daughter's daughter. The grandmother, her name is Josefina. She was brought up in Singapore and then moved to Sri Lanka. Um, her life began with a terrible violence enacted upon her by a man. And her life has been about the vengeance she took and the results of that and the way that that ripples down through her family. Her daughter, Sathara, who was born in Sri Lanka and was there for a little bit of her life, then was moved with the whole family to um, New Zealand. And within New Zealand, suddenly it was this completely different culture and landscape, uh, this experience of racism, all these shifts, the way that her femininity and her womanhood could play out there as well. And then the final character in the book is Annie, who we meet in her 20s. She's a stunty, a female stunt woman. Um, she is queer. She's gone to London. She has a terrible relationship with her mother, with Sathara. And she's gone to London to seek out Sathara's brother, Suri. And so you get these three different narratives all moving along at once. And yet they all feel connected and they're all moving forward together. Um, and they're just really stunning. Um, I thought... Oh yeah, let me tell you about Sarade as well. So Sarade, um, this is her debut novel, but she has been working kind of in tandem to this industry for a while. So she um, is has been for a long time the script editor on New Zealand's number one soap. And it means that she has this incredible ability to know how to enter scenes at the right moment and leave them at the right moment. It creates this taut, perfectly decided prose that knows exactly where it is um, and it means that there's this novel itself which is beautiful and thoughtful and slow and yet situated in these scenes that are tight and clean um, yeah and she also hosts or hosted for a long time a podcast called um, Conversations with My Immigrant Parents and she and her friend and co-host would interview other people about their experience of growing up when your parents um, were immigrants to the country um, that you're in and Sarade grew up in New Zealand. And when I listen to her talk about her, right, doing this podcast, I have this sense that it's informed and been embedded so much within the novel itself, all these different stories about the way things like food from different countries pass to a new culture, how you integrate the racism you might experience, the different um, attitudes to things and how you embody them yourself, what we keep, what we take away from our upbringings. Um, I thought I had a conversation with Sarade the other day and I thought that rather than just me telling you loads about the book, it would be nice to hear from what she said herself, because who better than the author? When I asked Sarade which character came first out of Josephina, Sathara and Annie, she said what I kind of imagined she'd say that they all in a way emerged together. But she told me that the very first scene that she wrote was this. Sathara came first. Specifically, Sathara in Hamilton, in New Zealand, in 1991, sitting in the priest's office, asking for his blessing for divorce. I saw the moment so clearly, but as soon as I started writing that scene, I also started thinking about who she was there to protect and why. So Josephina and Annie arrived. It's that sense that 
every person, no one is a lone person in a story. You're all so deeply meshed and interconnected one another. And that's what the story's about, that as soon as she created this one character, the world around her expanded, who she came from, how she would treat her own child. Uh, in line with that, I was asking Sarade because the book, it talks about the monstrous and motherhood and vengeance and the way women are expected to behave and when they defy those expectations. And I asked her about motherhood and she said, I thought a lot about motherhood while writing the book, how monumental it is, how scared I would be to do it. I thought a lot about what it would be like to lose a child and I thought a lot about what it would be like to mistreat your child. I also thought a lot about anger and how it is the most life-saving emotion I know. And the way that anger is used and becomes part of the plot and its negative impacts and its powerful impacts is a huge part of the novel too. Uh, I hope I've given you a sense of what Amma by Sarade de Silva is like, and I hope you love reading it as much as I've loved working on it over the last few years. Thank you so much.